DF, a transitory phase and of trial and especially of selection according to our acts, to get by the divine laws transmitted by the prophets and messengers. The latter were fight according to the acts of the disbelievers. There is a close relationship between miracles and their blasphemies. Besides this, there is a variety of acts depending on the generations thereafter comes a prospectus. A legal book encompassing the different generation at the different generations as well as their disbelief and the messenger sent to them in order to deliver them. But there comes the divine punishment according to their deeds, except for some of them who believed. You see that all the prophets come from a common family tree and the events are related to each message and every miracle. This proves that religious events happening in stages and that the, the last eternal miracle reserved us, which is the Quran encompassing all the prophecies with prevention for all our act for those who want a light. Adam and Eve alayhim as -salam, went down once, once the fruit of the tree ingested a new mechanism or procedure of food digestion. With evacuation of waste for this reason, they undress it. Metamorphosis, explanation of the descent of paradise, still medium, and still down on earth. And this is irrefutable proof in the different religions. And the evidence supporting the no correlation with already exciting beings on earth. We will be we would be wrong to believe that their descendants were marked and emulated by their seen. On the contrary, they populated the land with dignity. When God says, come down from here, he used the plural that includes three or more people, an Arabic Arctic from two people, an Arctic for several people, thus indicating that he does not speak only to Adam and Eve alayhim as -salam, but also to their descendants and the genes, that is to say all of humanity. We, oui. the descendants of Adam alayhim salam do not belong to this land. We are here only temporarily, mutation as the words for time, indicating the verse above, we, be we belong to the afterlife not forgetting the morphology of Eve and Adam alayhim as -salam, before ingestion of the fruit. Besides this, the job of Firma was carried out on land by our grandfather Adam, because in paradise was a phase of adaptation for him. Without efforts, the food was present. But on our host, the earth, each act requires a physical and moral activity. The free will. This experience that Adam Ali Salam lived also demonstrates that man has a true free will, as Adam and Eve Ali Salam were already accepted to do on earth, they need they needed to be our of Satan's wills making contact to understand that sins can have far reaching consequences. But also that God is very merciful. God knew that Adam and Eve alayhim as would eat from the forbidden tree and that Satan would make them lose their innocence, the reason for the creation of the earth. It is important to understand that even though God knows all the events before they happen and he allows them, it does not change the fact that men do enjoy free will. Adam had a free will and it was for this reason that he had to bear the consequence of his actions. All men beings enjoy free will. They are free to deserve God, but they must be bear the consequences. God subhanahu wa ta'ala praises those who obey his commandment and promises them an enormous reward, just as he condemns those who disobey him 
and warns them against attribution if they persist in their disobedience. The place where Adam and Eve Ali Masalam come down. Adam and Eve Ali Masalam come down on earth separately on Friday. In Hadith, where he speaks of the importance of Friday, the meeting Eve and Adam take place and stated of Arafah in Mecca, a month of Arafah, which comes from the Arabic word Ta'aruf, mean, means recognition, which is the meeting place for our grandparent, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, peace and blessings of God be upon him, says, the best day of which the sun rises in Friday, is Friday. This is the day that Adam was created and that day that he was brought down to the earth. Sahih al-Bukhari The order of, of, of events of our grandparents, Adam and Hawa alayhim as-salam, inculcate the words. Once Adam came to life, our Lord breathed his soul into him, into him. The first contact with the outside world, God subhanahu wa ta'ala, made him know the name of all things. And this serves him a knowledge and of course of prevention. We find on the contrary angels who are beings of light, who execute the directives of our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala without free will, but making a connection between the new man and the other beings already settled on earth, alive by animal instinct, killing each other, no laws of all regulations, living in the will, but participating in the life cycle of our land host, populated by living beings such as dinosaurs, which is preparatory fast of the coming of the first human being under it with a brain, accepted accept the laws will making reflections with the option of free will such as the genes of which Satan is a part refusing to prostrate himself to this being under it with speak vision and gratitude but this prostration is not done to Adam but rather to the creator of Adam subhanahu wa ta'ala exposing a new human being, expressing himself and recognizing the names of things. Undo it with vision and speak, which leaves the angels prostrate in contrast to Satan, who is the first to have a free will, the right to choose these actors. Satanic influences. Not only having the free choice, but also the power of influence over the decisions of, ma of the man being by his stratagem and cunning and voice that has no influence on the angels who are only performers by against us humans having a receptor seat to this one which our grandparent inured his evil power our grandparents have no priori contact with this disobedient being to the creator who is discouraged from ingesting the fruit of the tree, dissipate the warning of our Creator. Satan has a free personal choice, exclusive and reprehensible, and its creation is exclusive only for human beings, for his power has no effect on other beings. Man has a free choice, but can be influenced by a freesome enemy followed by his descendants. Food dependence and an, an indispensable factor for the human being, food energy factor and group. A daily dependence from which the first act of disobedience of our ancestors following an innate instinct, taking advantage, advantage of their wake point leads them consequently has a new physical form, appearance of their organs playing the role of every creature of West, and subsequently useful 
to the proliferation of their offspring. Triggering the digestive mechanism. This phenomenon is well known by us. Following a good meal, the human body draws its energy from the deed. Eventually, all excess, all excess is evacuated by the channels reserved for it. And this addiction is added a factor primordially which comes in combination with food intake, breathing, a regular supply of oxygen, and living being dependent of those factors which themselves were created by our Lord, which are indispensable to Him, can never claim that He is invulnerable, for the human is our case. War could by several phases of accompanying chromosomic, then gestations, regular food supply, delivery, by assumption, a food assistance and hygienic, a growth, food and oxygen aging and then death last all these factors are under, undergone by him without any power through he for the case of jesus any exciting being on this universe had a food addiction only our creator who has no dependence because he is the designer of this concept and creator of all beings and all things. The free arbiter and consequence with analysts of teaching words, the no suggestive free will, Satan will exclusive free will, decision making power, the influence of free will, the case of the human being, Satanic influence, individual influence, hereditary influence of education order. Several factors can influence man. Only the reason that comes to reign in these external influences, a reason is knowledge, which is a science, and Quran in close. Science that is based on logic, this logic, which is in harmony with the, with the cycle of life, hence the reflection on the factors of influence. When God subhanahu wa ta'ala tells our grandparents not to approach the tree, it is the distinct of the human being in relation to all the factors raised. The distance from this tree that could only be beneficial to our grandparents may dissipate the dominant curiosity catalyzed by the satanic influence God forgives them. He is merciful and clement. The God says, in the sense of this. بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسألونك عن الخمر والميسر قل فيهما إثم كبير ومنافع للناس وإثم أكبر من نفعهما ويسألونك ماذا ينفقون قل العفو كذلك يبين الله لكم الآيات لعلكم تتفكرون صدق الله العظيم I translate they ask you about win and gambling, say. In them is a great sin and yet some benefit for people, but their sin is greater than their benefit. And they ask you what they should spend, say the excess beyond needs. Thus Allah makes clear to you the verses of revelation that you may give to. As well as, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقربوا الصلاة وأنتم سكار حتى تعلموا ما تقولون ولا جنبا إلا عبير سبيل حتى تختسلوا وإن كنتم مرضى على سفر أو جاء أحد منكم من الغايب ولمستم النساء فلا تجدوا ماء فتيمموا صعيدا طيبا فتيمموا صعيدا طيبا فامسحوا بوجوهكم وايديكم ان الله كان عفوا غفورا صدق الله العظيم I translate O oh you who have believed do not approach prayer when you are intoxicated until you know that you are seeing or in a state of Geneva except those passing through a place of prayer until you have washed your whole body and if you are ill 
or an unjournal one of you comes from the place of relieving himself or you have contacted woman and find no water then seek clean earth and weep over your faces and your hands with it indeed Allah is ever pardoning and forgiving and finally God said بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إنما الخمر والميسر والأنصاب والأزلام رجس من عمل الشيطان فاجتنبوا لعلكم تفلحون إنما يريد الشيطان أن يوقع بينكم العداوة والبغضاء في الخمر والميسر ويصدكم عن ذكر الله وعن الصلاة فهل أنتم منتهون صدق الله العظيم I translate Oh, you who have believed it, and did it intoxicant, gambling, sacrificing one stone altars to other than Allah, and divining arose are but bit, uh, are but development from the work of Satan. So avoid it that you may be successfully. Satan only wants to cause between you animosity and hatred through intoxicant and gambling and to avert you from the remembrance of Allah and from prayer so will you do not desist the withdrawal of an addict is non status hence the reason for the different verses a comparison between the two situations Adam and Eve عليهم السلام avoid only the reconciliation with the tree creation of God recognition identification consequence and God say and we said oh Adam drill you and your wife in paradise and eat them from in easy and abundance from wherever you will but do not approach this tree let you be among the wrong doors we oui. the verse is very explicit and will detailed it compared to that of our grandparents regardless of the human tendency race ethnicity religion standard of living because he has direct relationship with their grandmothers Oh believers, the wind, the game of chance, the standing stones, the arrows of divination are only an abomination, the work of the devil. Spread out so that you six it. The devil only wants the true into you to win and gambling, enmity and hatred and turn you away from invoking Allah and Salat. Are you going to stop it? identification of abomination devil's work and demon fabrication avoid the contact which is a divan order echoing roads the devilish consequence between man and state out of end order make the right reflection Do, do choose the right orientation that correspond to that of our precursors who have repented consequently their earthly mission beings with an objective definited by our creator subhanahu wa ta'ala for scientific procreation and expansion and our mission is definited by the messengers just to just to pass our test of final destination to make it a reverse return of the journey made by our parent who will depend on our action a relationship a relationship grandfather parents with their children to this day is continuous miracle fluid by events of succession laws of messengers for a common purpose the uniqueness of our divine made creator and our debt to them to him there is a complementarity between the different facts which are only beneficial for us man on earth and thereafter eternal paradise which is the first 
the home of our grandfather Adam, it is up to us to go the opposite way, so to go back there. For this reason, the explanation of the four forms of existence of man makes an opening of mind to explain that the man transits by this ground. For a purpose, the eternal residence, our native environment, and that from a reflection springs light that is not under ordinary but divine. Back to four historical forms by bringing together Quranic verses to prove not only the reality of the four forms, but also to write our brothers and genetic sisters from genetic parents Adam and Eve of past mystics, including Satan and his allies, have distorted the story for a purpose other than the one that the one that we destined for a change of residence that reserved them a hill.